Hey guys, Alan Davis with Davis Dead US Productions. We're here in Southern California and I'm going to be teaching you about three-point lighting. Three-point lighting is very, very important when it comes to doing things like corporate videos, uh, documentary pieces, or um, even short news packages. Our lovely model Amber is going to be helping us out today and we're going to show you some things that are, look good and some things to avoid. So, some of the basics for a three-point lighting setup is the lights themselves. You have your key, your fill, and your hair light. Uh, your most powerful light source should be your key. Uh, that's going to fill Amber's dominant side of her face. Uh, right now we have our light at 3200 lumens. It's going through some kind of diffusion. Uh, we have our fill, which is going to be filling the uh, less dominant side of her face. Right now our light is at 500 lumens and going through some form of diffusion. And last you have our hair light and that's at 3200 going through um, a gel because we want to accent Amber's nice complexion and we want to bring out the highlights in her hair and on her cheek. Okay so right now we have a completely uh, dark canvas and we're going to show you what these lights actually do. So the first light that we have is our key, very powerful, directional. It really gives our model a nice base light. Next we're going to move to the fill because you can see on the right side of her face she has some shadows around her cheekbone and on her neck. Um, because this is, uh, we're going for an interview and not something that's moody, we want to make this look professional. So you can do that with your fill. Last, we want to add some flair, so, and also we want to add dimension to our subject, so we're going to use the hair light. What the hair light does is it gives really some nice shape. She no longer is flat against the flat background. You can see she has some contour to her, and also it brings out her highlights and the makeup that she's worked so hard on. So I wanted to show you guys some things that uh, you can avoid. Uh, so. One of the first thing is, is especially with these uh, Stellas, uh, you don't have to use all the light that is in them. You can see with bumping up our key, it looks unnatural. When you're lighting an interview, you want it to augment your subject. You want it to augment your lighting. You don't want to make it look artificial. Uh, that's something that you want to look out for when using your key, which is your most dominant power source. So we're gonna bring that back down to 3200 lumens. Jumping over to the fill light, same thing. You don't want to overpower with your fill light. You can see in the background there's a heavy, heavy shadow and that's going to be distracting from your interview. Um, so if you just use a little bit of light, it's much less noticeable and also we're not overpowering our key light with our fill. It's very important that you use your fill light to fill in the shadows. It doesn't need to destroy the shadows. Lastly, what you want to, some things that you want to be careful with is your hair light. You want the hair light to just provide some dimension. You don't want it to overpower your subject. It's pretty obvious here. The reason why I have this light source here in the first place is it looks like that window in the background is actually providing the hair light. Um, some tips of good lighting is that your lighting actually makes sense. Right now we're using this light to augment the light that could supposedly come in through the window. Another issue is that it's too powerful. You can see we're no longer providing a rim light. We're overpowering these other two lights that we're using. Another thing that you want to look for while lighting your subject is be aware of the angles that you're using. Right now, the key and the fill are at a 45 degree angle. You can see right now when uh, you move your key closer towards the camera, that's a flatter light. Um, you could almost do this interview with one light source now, but we're using three, so move it back. Point the light at amber again. It's much nicer. So those are some things to look for when using a three-point lighting setup for interviews, commercial videos, or documentaries. I hope you found this video useful, and uh, thanks again to our sponsors, Light in Motion. These Stella lights are great. They're portable, they're powerful, they're everything that you need to do lighting setups like this. Thanks, guys. And thank you, Amber. No problem.
Thank you. Okay. Well, my name is Amberlyn Michowski, and I'm originally from Newport, Rhode Island. I moved out to Southern California two years ago. It'll be two years at the end of this month. Um, when I was living back in Rhode Island, I was miserable. Um, I had my last surgery was in 2017, and it was just a complete disaster. I I didn't think I was going to make it out of it, and that was when I knew something had to change. 